this is Rick Cassell from exercisesforinjuries.com. I got a question that came through customer support when it came to figuring out the best foot position when it comes to squatting. So a lot of times when it comes to squatting, if your foot position is wrong, it puts unnecessary stress on your knees and it puts unnecessary stress on your back. So it's important to be in that right foot position in order to decrease the stress on your knees and your back. So the specific question was, how do I determine and figure out the best foot position for me to squat in? And that can be in doing a body weight squat or that can even do, be with like a loaded squat, like a back squat or a dumbbell squat. So we'll get ORC to demonstrate how you end up starting off with is you end up moving into a four point position. So hands are underneath the shoulders and knees are underneath the hips. And it's gonna be difficult for you to do this on your own. You need someone to kind of take a look at things. And what you're doing is you're looking at that pelvis and then you're gonna bring the hips back. If I see that pelvis move, I'm gonna come back to the start and then you're gonna separate your knees a little bit more. And then once again, we're gonna rock back and if I don't see any movement in that pelvis, I'm in a good position. So a little bit further, okay. And then rocking back and good. So I'm not, so with Orsi at this point, I'm not seeing her rotate that pelvis forward or back. It's going, it's, there's no movement. I'm coming straight down and back. So this would be where I would start her off when it comes to her squatting position. So I would get her to straighten out the legs, come up onto the toes, and now what we're going to do is we'll end up testing it with the body weight squat. So now I'm going to look at her pelvis when she's squatting and I want to see if I end up seeing any pelvis movement when it comes to anterior or posterior when she goes through that squatting movement. And she ends up being good. She ends up squatting down at the, at the very bottom. She ends up having a little bit of pelvis movement. But during the main part of the squat, which ends up being from here to just past the hips passing 90, there isn't any of that pelvis tilting forward and back. When she gets near the bottom of the movement, there is a little bit of uh, movement. So there you go, give that a go. If you end up having any kind of knee pain or back pain when it relates to body weight squats or loaded squats, make sure that you end up having, that you're in the right foot position. And this is one easy little way of testing out to see if you're in that right foot position. You'll need an, uh, another person to take a look at things or you can end up getting like a trainer or uh, a kinesiologist kind of looking and seeing and finding out what your best foot position is for your, your body weight squat or your loaded squat. So there you go, this is Rick Cassells from exercisesforinjuries.com. Make sure to swing by exercisesforinjuries.com. Enter in your injury or pain. There's a good chance that I have an article, video, or interview that'll help you overcome your injury or pain. Secondly, head up above, hit subscribe. What that'll do is every couple days, you'll get a video like this where I talk about overcoming injury and pain. Thirdly, head down below, hit like, and leave me a question or comment. So this is Rick Cassell from exercisesforinjuries.com saying take care and bye-bye.